So in a day where a new information technology allows us to participate globally in any conversation, we, the, our barriers of information are completely lowered and we can, more than ever before, express our desires and our concerns. Our political system remains the same for the past 200 years and expects us to be contented with being simply passive recipients of a monologue. So it's really not surprising, isn't it, that this kind of system is only able to produce two kinds of results. Silence or noise. Silence in terms of citizens not engaging, to simply not wanting to participate. There's this commonplace that I truly, truly dislike, and it's this idea that we citizens are naturally apathetic, that we shun commitment. But can you really blame us for not jumping at the opportunity of going to the middle of the city in the middle of a working day to attend physically a, pub a public hearing that, it's, that has no impact whatsoever? Conflict is bound to happen between a system that no longer represents nor has any dialogue capacity and citizens that are increasingly used at representing themselves. And then we find noise. Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, Italy, France, Spain, the United States, they're all democracies. The citizens have access to the ballot boxes, but they still feel the need. They need to take on the streets in order to be heard. To me, it seems like the 18th century slogan that was the basis for the formation of our modern democracies, no taxation without representation, can now be updated to no representation without a conversation. We want our seat at the table, and rightly so. And so we took quite a leap of faith, and in August last year, we funded our own political party, El Partido de la Red, or the Net Party in the city of Buenos Aires. And taking an even bigger leap of faith, we ran for elections on October last year with this idea. Every single project that got introduced in Congress, we were going to vote according to what citizens decided on an online platform.